Hey guys, it's Ed. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we need to talk about cookies. And a lot of cookies. Today, I've joined up with Guitar Chocolate and we're starting a brand new series, The Cookie Chronicles, to find the internet's best chocolate chip cookie recipe. Over the next month, I will be posting two videos a week where I test drive the most viral chocolate chip cookie recipes out there. The recipes taking over Instagram. I'm talking Sarah Kiefer's pan bang cookies, I'm talking Alison Roman's salted butter shortbreads, and many more. But today, we need to go back to where the chocolate chip cookie started. Invented in the 1930s by Ruth Wakefield, who lived at the Toll House Inn in Massachusetts, she really was supposedly trying to come up with a chocolate cookie, you know, a nice, beautiful chocolate cookie recipe. But she added a chopped chocolate bar, and when they came out of the oven, she was really surprised to find out that the chocolate hadn't fully melted. She loved the taste, she called them chocolate crunch cookies, and that was the start of our cookie revolution. So the ingredients for her cookie are fairly standard and what we think of as classic today for a chocolate chip cookie. So we start with some plain flour, some baking soda, salt, unsalted butter, light brown sugar, caster sugar, vanilla, eggs, and then of course, chocolate chips. So for this recipe, I'm using Guitard's chocolate chips because they have a delicious flavor, but also the chip form is gonna give us that sense of nostalgia that a Toll House cookie has. When it comes to the method for the Toll House cookie, we're basically talking about classic. It's the foundation that a lot of cookie recipes are based on, and it's the creaming method. We're gonna add our unsalted butter, which is at room temperature, to a large bowl along with our sugars. Now, this uses a fairly equal amount of light brown sugar and caster sugar, and this is kind of slightly unusual today. Normally, we would have a lot more light brown sugar to give that kind of chew and molasses flavor, so I'll be very intrigued to see how these turn out. So, let's add our butter. Butter. We're gonna add our sugars to the bowl as well, and we're gonna beat that together, cream those together for a couple of minutes just until it's nice and creamy. The recipe doesn't state you want it nice and fluffy, it says creamy, so don't go for a full five minutes, just about two to three minutes will be fine. To that, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now then, gonna add our eggs one at a time. and then we're gonna add our dry goods. We're gonna mix together our flour, baking soda, and salt, add that to the mixer, and then I like to just pulse that just until it starts to combine so flour doesn't go everywhere, and then just mix for a minute or so until it's nice and easily combined. The final step is simply add our chocolate chips and mix very briefly just to bring those together. We don't wanna mix the dough too much at this stage because the cookies can become tough and chewy, so just mixing until they're combined. It's important to note when we're talking about chocolate chips that not all are born equal. The reason I really like the Guitar chocolate chips is that it's just chocolate, there's nothing else in there. But if you go to the supermarket and look at the back of a bag of chocolate chips, the chances are a lot of them are bulked out with vegetable fat. Now, that is a bad thing for any type of chocolate, and the reason is, is it often means that the cocoa is poor quality, and they're trying to keep costs down, so they bulk it out with vegetable fat, and it melts in a very different way, and it doesn't have as good of a flavor. So when you're looking for chocolate chips, look for one that is pure chocolate. And that's the cookie dough made. It's a very straightforward, classic chocolate chip cookie, and it comes together in no time at all. The key point to remember is to make sure your butter is at room temperature, otherwise this will take a little bit longer, and it'll be a little harder to make. Now, one of the big differences of this recipe to a kind of modern day chocolate chip cookie recipe is the size. The recipe indicates to use a rounded tablespoon of dough, which is a really small chocolate chip cookie. And it does mean it makes a lot. So if you're making cookies for a party or for a big group of people, this could be a really nice option to make. So you want to scoop those cookies out onto a parchment lined baking tray a couple of inches apart and then bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius, for about 9 to 11 minutes until really nice and golden brown. Now you can use two spoons to do that, but my favourite tool are these mechanical scoop cookie scoops. They're really, really useful and they come in all different sizes and they have a couple of different ones for cookies and these are the best tool, just makes it easier and quicker. So the finished cookies, because they use baking soda and they're quite small, they brown really well on the base and they end up having a really crisp texture on the base and on the sides. 
So for my preference, these cookies are a little bit too far on the side of thin and crispy for my preferred style, but they do have a delicious flavor. They kind of hit all those nostalgia notes. It's a little bit of a throwback. It's that kind of bake sale classic. Nothing wrong with them at all, but it's just not quite my favorite cookie. So we need to keep looking. So as always, if you'd like to learn how to make that cookie, the recipe is up in the corner. Now, unlike always, where I say I'll see you next week, for the next two weeks I'm posting two videos a week. So I'll see you on Thursday for more cookies.